I'm in a bonded customs warehouse. Okay, man. <laughs> and we've got our stuff. So I think that's the start of part two's video. So let's get on it. We are unpacked. I have everything, finally. So, wave track diff, half shaft kit, uh, final seals, speed sensor kit, bolt kit, both input shafts, pinion, ring and pinion. <laughs> that's a ring, that's a pinion. Diff cover, bit of stump, full gear set, and bolts and clips and all my tools and so yeah, I've had bits uh, sort of uh, sorted, but yeah, we're all good. So I have the clutches built, um, everything else is off. There's my modified clutch that we didn't need, or clutch core that we didn't need. There's the rest of my tools. So there we go. Gearbox is stripped. Started to be anyway. I'm just about to pull the rear cover off. So I've got the seals off the back. Um, yeah, we'll, um, I get them heated up and we'll get them sorted. So looking good, getting my gloves back on and get oily. So we'll, um, we'll catch you guys in a bit and just to see how this is the boost logic kit. So Justin's having great fun. And all the rads are in crossover hose. I mean, like just the little pieces like that, that where you get a bit of a bit of shrink to go over it to do the clamps. Same that size. And the absolute motherfucker of all ice tanks. I mean, check out that pump. Check out the hoses in the pump. I mean, that's beastie. So you can see why these boys start turning out proper power. So yeah, he's about to drill. So I'm going to leave him in peace. And I've walked down an alleyway, so climb over the car. And then I see that manifold starting to go on, so yeah. Check valves. How many turbo kits have you seen people build without those in? But. So, right. I better get back to work. So, we'll see you guys in a bit. So, back case is off. That's taken me half a day. <laughs> when the air liar, when the air compressor is about the size of a Coke bottle, that was hard. So, we had to make this. <laughs> so, I harvested the old basket to hold the input shaft and welded it up so I could get that bolt out because they're just like locked out like crazy the other one we got undone that's fine we can lock it up and that one we got undone that was fine but that one i put so much heat through it i melted the air, hot air gun which i've put away and then we had to have a holding tool so we made a holding tool so obviously clutches out oil pumps out stators out all that stuff circlips off that's fine the pinions out it's just resting in there which is fine that again was a little bit the oil's been beaten on so it's got really hot um it's not very nice it stinks and just a few things back home that would come apart uh, come apart really nice here they haven't come apart so well so um i'm going to get it up on this bench and i'm going to pull the cluster uh, so we can get it stripped tonight and i hope to get uh all three gear shafts out of it so that is my plan of reno we'll see how well this goes so yeah um there's the end cover. I've got the diff stripped. Uh, I just need to clean everything. There's no wash tank, so I'm struggling here at the minute. It's tins of brake cleaner, and so not amazing, but is what it is. Um, yeah, so we've got, I don't know whether I did it in the other video, but diff, half shafts, internals. Yeah, everything's sort of laid out, so. I think that is herbal tea time because that's what they drink over here. So I'm really into mint tea, which is lovely. So, yeah, that is it. We'll um, I get that 
sat on that bench and I'll get the gear cluster set out and yeah, we'll get sorted. So, sweet. That is the end of day two. Day two? Wednesday, day three. Cool, long old time. Uh, so, we battled this old girl, I tell you. Um, so, we uh, got the shaft off. I had to heat that to a million degrees. Uh, and the, yeah, the air is not great, but we've got nut out. So I've got the output shaft stripped, or one of them stripped. Uh, I've got the backside of the carrier stripped. And there, 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 and there. So yeah, We're looking pretty good, I think. So in the morning then, no point me cleaning anything tonight. In the morning, I'll run everything through Sonic Cleaner, clean the cases up, and do everything I can to make sure it's all cleaned up, ready to go. Uh, who's that responsible person that left their beer bottle in shot? So yeah, we're pretty much getting there. We have, uh, what else did we find? New speed sensors to replace that one. So we've got Dodson ones to replace that one and the one on the back. Back gear, so that's fine, that's done. Um, this is a state of shift box look. So yeah, hanging. Um, obviously I've taken a couple off these ones. So yeah, not not too bad, I don't think. I think we did we did all right. So where's um party time? Say hello, Nathan. Hey. So poor old Justin sat sucking on fuel, getting a fuel pump controllers in. So it's all good. And then you can start to see now where like hoses come through. And there's a drain that comes through here, bulkhead fit in here, look, for the tank. So yeah, it's, uh, it's getting there. And then, well, it's like 10 o'clock at night and it's like a party around here, so. Guys did a big barbecue. So. It's just, um, I think this, well, this this car's this car's a big deal over here. Um, this would be pretty much the fastest car in Israel, so pretty cool to be involved. Um, but it's getting a lot of attention. So the owners, a load of the owners' mates, have travelled from like all over the country to sort of come and see it being built. So yeah, it's a, a bit of a community centre at times, but it's, it's cool to to meet everybody, and they're all car mad over here. The third, like draggy times over here are like people's bibles so yeah i'll um i'll change my motor boxes in the morning so you're all getting chewed up give everything a clean and we'll start day what's thursday day four so get it cleaned up get the clusters back together and yeah good to go catch you all in a bit